Tonight, the Florida lawmaker who sponsored that state's so-called Don't Say Gay bill is now facing federal charges. A federal grand jury today indicting Republican State Representative Joe Harding on charges of money laundering and wire fraud. He's accused of scheming COVID funds meant for small business loans, allegedly trying to obtain more than $150,000 in federal money. Well, 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 well. Looks like karma got its kiss for you, boy. Joseph Harding, a former Florida lawmaker who penned the Don't Say Gay law, has been sentenced to jail for wire fraud and money laundering in relation to the $150,000 COVID relief bill. It's only four months, but a win is a win. Let's take a real quick trip down memory lane to look at that Don't Say Gay bill, shall we? Following this, maybe all of you were, but... Um... Hey, Jen. Joe Harding here, and in case you didn't know, I am the sponsor of House Bill 1557. Let me first say that every parent, as one myself too, hopes that le our leaders will ensure their children's safety, protection, and freedom. Good start. I'm a parent too, and I'm glad we can find some common ground. And today, conservative politicians in Florida rejected those basic values by advancing legislation that is designed to target and attack the kids who need the support, support the most. As a sponsor of the bill, no but we'll get to that in a second. As a gay person who works in news and politics, yes, but we'll get to that in a second. Uh, kids from uh, the LGBTQI plus uh, community uh, who are already vulnerable to bullying, and we've seen that in study after study, and violence just for being themselves and just for being who they are. I want all kids to feel safe at school, but that also has nothing to do with this bill. House Bill 1557 lets parents access their kids' school records more easily prevents school districts from adopting policies that keep information away from parents. And here's the controversial part. The bill directs school districts, and I'll quote from the bill right here, to not encourage classroom discussion about sexual orientation or gender identity and primary grade levels. Jen, that is kindergarten through third grade. The bill is designed to keep school districts from talking about these topics before kids are ready to process them. I don't think it's controversial to empower parents. Children's safety at school absolutely has everything to do with this bill, pal, and I think you know that. Imagine if you have a parent who says that they would kick you out if you ended up being gay or trans, and then you find out you're gay or trans, you tell a teacher because it's an adult you trust, well, now your parents have access to that information, and your parents said they were going to kick you out. Not to mention not allowing schools or teachers or even students to talk about these things, even at that young age, if you start to feel that way at that young age, it's only going to make you feel way more alienated and like you are wrong. But you already showed that you really don't care about people who are the most vulnerable when you took $150,000 in COVID relief loans and pocketed that money instead of giving it to people who really needed it. Make no mistake, this is not an isolated action in Florida. Across the country, we're seeing Republican leaders taking action to regulate what students can or cannot read, what they can or cannot learn, and most troubling, who they can or cannot be. Distorting the facts, spreading fear, really just sidesteps the fact that none of the things you are talking about are actually in the bill. This is who these kids are. And these, le these legislators are trying to make it harder for them to be who they are. Kids can, and they will talk about whatever they want at school. We just want to make sure teachers promote that discussion at the right age level. And we want to make sure that parents are kept in the loop. I'm sorry. I've seen people in my life refer to their infant children, like an infant son, as a lady killer. So that's fine. But telling children that gay people exist and that trans people exist, that, that's too young, that's too far. But additionally, Joseph, I think we should keep parents in the loop that the person who drafted this bill is a hard, cold criminal. So is the message here, let me just make sure I understand, is the message here, don't be gay, but do crime? I don't know, Joe. That's what I'm taking from this. Anyways, um, be gay and don't steal money from people who need it. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some of my content that isn't news related, you can always head to my personal YouTube page at Bad Gamer Wyatt. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.